started right now with Caps of the Flag on Countdown. So here we go, guys. It looks like we're going to be starting this one off with the unbeaten team. They have not dropped a game all weekend long. A lot of people are saying this is going to be the start of a new dynasty at MLG. Instinct looking so strong this event, and we're kicking off with the most positive player in the game. And a great start off threat here, just baiting the Rockets. Although his brother's dead, they still have three alive for this team, and they're pushing on this flag effectively. Team to score five flags, go to your opponent's base, bring it back to yours. You do that five times, you will win. The keys to success, though, guys, are definitely going to be positioning and, more importantly, controlling the power weapons. Exactly, Chris. When you control the power weapons on a map like this, you'll be able to get quick kills, and those quick kills usually end up turning into flag caps and map control. After 45 seconds, Roy is finally taken down, but it looks like this Instinct Squad is able to hold on to the power weapons. You have the Rockets in the hands of I Got Your Pistol, who is now using the DMR to finish off a kill on Destin. He's got a jetpack, and I like this... I guess combo he's using here, Scott. And we saw Strongside make it, or use it very effectively at our last event. You can get to so many places, especially on a map like this where there's three levels. If you fall down, you can easily get back up. And he's doing it right now. I thought he was going up in the vent. And he's going to be taken down, but still a smart play. Three, oh, make that now four alive here for Dynasty. Two, we're down for Instinct. Lunchbox is going to pick up the evade, but we're jumping on board with Kazakhstan, who had the sniper. Roy is going to clean up the kill on him, and Roy just used that same sniper to pick up a nice headshot on Heinz. Yeah, we're talking about, like we said, the most positive player in the tournament so far. His kill death ratio at a ridiculous 1.54. He's getting a kill and a half for every death he has. Right now, just a complete map control dominance we're seeing here from Instinct. And check out the beatdown as Instinct is going to put in flag number one. They actually have to wait for a quick return, but that one's not going to be a problem. Ogre 2, the winningest player of all time, is going to put this one in. And Lunchbox so far doing a great job of using the evade to get around the map, but he was the one who sparked that objective play. Great job by this Instinct squad. And what's happening is this Tezoxic is was found at the Instinct base trying to pull a sneaky flag and Instinct made him pay for it. Those tricks are not gonna work. This is not Soul who you're playing. Now, earlier in the tournament, we saw on this same game type that it was Tzoxic running the objective. Normally, that's gonna be Heinz's role for this Dynasty squad. Do you expect to see that same strategy used against Instinct, and will it work? Uh, I believe we're gonna see the same thing. Oh man, Lunchbox coming up huge right here. I believe we're gonna see Tzoxic running the flags for this Dynasty squad. But he's going to need to be able to get into the instinct base, and it seems like that's almost impossible. Guys, don't be afraid to cheer if you like what you're seeing. We got Lunchbox moving the flag back to the invade, but all four members of Instinct are down, and you are watching Destin. Destin moving this flag right now through his triangle. It doesn't look like anyone from Instinct is in his base, and there we have Dynasty showing life. They're on the scoreboard. It's all tied up one to one after three minutes. Just a perfect counter cap. Instinct had a slip of an error by or by Pistola going up to level three, and Dynasty makes them pay for it all four down. The most effective way to run a flag. Exactly. The, when you play this Instinct team, you need to capitalize on any and every mistake they make. The only way to beat them is to almost beat them at their own game. You have to almost play flawless. We got a nice beatdown play here from Destin. St. Alive, he hits the double kill. That's going to free up Heinz to get the easy return. They get the clutch return inside the instinct base, and now Heinz is on a counter cap. What a great addition for this team, Heinz was. Don't forget, guys, these same three players, snipe down Heinz and Tizoc or snipe down Tizoxic and Destin, were on the exact same team last event, but they got eight. With the addition of Heinz, they're competing with this god squad. Absolutely incredible. And they're guaranteed to finish in our top three here in Columbus, Ohio. Right now we are watching Snipe Down on your screen. He's got the positioning here on Roy, putting some nice DMR shots. Comes in on Ogre 2, is going for that flag return. It looks like Instinct has this one wrapped up. Yeah, that was really impressive right there by Ogre 2. He picked up the evade and knew he needed to get into the Dynasty base as fast as possible. 
rolled right in, knew the flag was going to return, and got another touch. Great counter right here by Instinct. Nice flank by wow. Pistola, and he's putting on a show for the crowd in Columbus with the animation. We got Lunchbox and Pistola double teaming a player down low. It looks like they're going to be putting in flag number two once they get the return. And just superior slaying here in the last minute we've seen out of Instinct, and Pistola's getting the return. It's going to be a two to one game. Did Dynasty get Hines, in and get the return here? Hines stopped it right before that. This is a great job. Getting that flag to the bottom of the stairs is of utmost importance in this game type because you're most likely going to spawn at the bottom of your base and you have easy nades. And Snipe Down just touched that flag again. So it's going to force Instinct to come back to their base and try and get a return before they're able to capture. I love this objective dilemma that Dynasty is causing. Yeah, perfect play right there by Dynasty. And a small slip up by Roar. We saw him actually grab the flag. Knew it was going to return and sprinted and actually missed the flag cap, allowing Dynasty to be able to return it and go for a counter cap of their own. And now we have Snipe down taking the instinct flag all the way back to his base. We got Heinz with no shield up top, Destin sitting on the second level, to Toxic dropping down bottom middle, and Snipe down is playing the objective here. And Toxic trying to get his return here, and if he does, Snipe down may be able to put this one in. And Dynasty's really make, catching Instinct doing kind of ridiculous things. Roy was bottom middle for some reason. Pistola hasn't left his base in a long time. Dynasty is just making Instinct pay for every error. Now guys, this is one of the hardest game types to commentate because of the objective. Talk to some of our newbier players out there. How easy is it to get to the opponent's base and, and why do we see so many stalemates? In this game type, a lot of the spawns, the map is not, or very, I guess you could call wide, but not very long. And because of that, when you spawn, you can get into the other team's base in about five or six seconds. And because of the spawning, you're able to just sprint all the way in there, get a touch on the flag, and when a, your flag is out, you're unable to cap the opponent's flag. So there's the, the reason for the stalemates. So in this game type, remember, you have to have your flag at home to score. After seven minutes, the score is all tied up one to one. I think it's time to listen in with this Instinct squad. Let's crank up our Astro A40s as we listen in with Roy. Their triangle. Our window, our jetpack. Our jetpack behind you guys. Look at your arm, like what's up? Oh my god, oh my god, I'm telling you. What was our jetpack, guys? I found this guy. We got it. Our jetpack again. Find me, find me, find me. Enemy. Our jetpack. Stay alive. Your last one. Stay alive. We're gonna get that next round. Our window, sniping at a base. Stay alive. Our window, sniping at a base. I'll flag again. They're running it. I don't know where they're running it. I'm watching a base. We're running a jetpack. Jetpack. One's out of eight, guys. Watch out, the dead. Two guys on me. Two guys on drop down. This is one shot. This is one shot. Drop down. Pull up, pull up. He's on me, window. Where's that window? Where's that window? Snipe up in 10. I'm making a balcony. Watch out. He was right above me. No, he was right above me. Watch out. 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 Watch Nice, stay alive. There's two down again. Get up top of it. Watch the garage, guys. Get up top of that top. There's spawning outside, guaranteed. We're all over the garage door. Yep. I'm getting into it. I'm getting into it, man. My bottom center, our window. Our balcony. Watch out our balcony. I got him. He's watching out mid level. That's right. Stay alive. Stay alive. I'm flagging. I'm getting up our top. Stay alive, guys. That was our window. He's still a triangle. I'm looking. He's one shot now. Hit up. Two guys on the base, guys. I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm looking. They have a flag. I'm flagging, guys. Our window, guys. They went up. Two of us dead, guys. Stay alive. Roger, we gotta go bed there. Alright. We gotta go together. Rockets are 20 seconds. We gotta go. We just need to get these guys. Rockets on window. He's letting go in window. They're gonna cap this. Don't worry about it. Rockets outside. Guy level three to aim me. Under flag, so. They're back there, guys. They're back there. Stay alive. He's not down here. I got one. Three on three. You're big. Ten on eight. Can't be in now, guys. Got it. Watch out their window and their jet. Out of eight. Out of eight and their window. Going garage sniping. Two guys spawn garage. Do we have rockets? One was out of eight. Their window, guys, and our window sniping. Their window's weak. Our window sniping. Their jetpack weak. We're going garage over there. He went their window now. I'm here with you, Tom. I need help with the base, guys. I'm here. At the window, hold on. Charge him. He's with the garage over there. I went main air, Tom. Stay alive. Two guys on me. Watch out main air, guys. I got one. Three dead! Three dead! I'm running this. I'm running this. Three dead! Get out! Where's our guys? Our triangle sniping! Dude, fuck me! Watch out there! I got him, I got him. Behind you, Justin. Don't run it. Do not run it. Run it, run it. I'll get him, Justin. 
Flag taken. Flag. The score now 4 to 2. We saw some impressive play from Dynasty during that listen in. Scott, how are they able to put in the flags? Just doing a great job at controlling the second level of this instinct base. Tzoxic has been hiding in the triangle of instincts for more than two minutes and making huge plays with the sniper rifle. Impressive play. Dynasty is showing a lot of life, and this is one of their best game types in this series. Chris, we just saw a flag scored by Instinct. What happened? Well, Instinct just did a great job right there of running back the flag through the triangle. It seems that Dynasty's been taking advantage of every single mistake that the Instinct squad has been having. And right now, just playing great Halo. Instinct, oh my god, Roy with a crazy triple kill and a flag return. But Instinct really needs to start charging and getting these flags if they want to win this we game. We got Lunchbox capping a flag right now. They tie it up. So in just one minute and 10 seconds, Instinct puts in two flags to tie it all up at four. The next flag will win this game type. We got Ogre 2 grabbing the flag. Meanwhile, Snipe Down has a flag of his own. Flag taken. And it looks like Snipedown's actually double backing here, trying to get a pinch on I Got Your Pistola, and it looks like Lunchbox, who are going for the objective. Ogre 2 is taken down. Hines is going to be taken down at the Instinct base, and now Destin sneaks in. Great job by Snipedown to double back right there. He threw the flag out, knowing that Instinct would go for the flag, and Snipedown is making people pay, winning every individual battle he's gotten into. I have to say this Dynasty squad so far is hanging right up there with Instinct when it comes to slang. Yeah, absolutely. This Dynasty squad, very impressive individual talent. The Instinct names, they've been playing these guys before. They know they can compete. Roy pulling a flag. Meanwhile, Tzoxic from Dynasty is holding the instinct flag. Let's see how Roy decides to play this. He's going to get found down low. He comes up expecting a player to lift up. He came up the other lift, takes out Roy. Meanwhile, Tzoxic still unseen with the flag. He just put on a, sh a shot on Ogre 2, though that may cost him. Ogre 2 now knows where he's at. Here's the battle. If he wins this, Dynasty could put in the fifth flag. Oh my goodness. And he keeps the flag alive, but what's going on over there with Instinct? The blue flag still out. The return is coming. Dynasty about to take game number one. They, did he Roy. not score? Roy comes up huge, back smacks the flag guy, grabs it right before it returns. And now, now we're back at the flags. base. Yeah, flag stalemate here. Just when you think Instinct can lose a game, Roy goes and does, does something so astronomically huge that it just ruins everything. Well, Tzoxi actually getting spotted by Lunchbox, coming right behind. Surviving Rockets is Roy. I don't know how this kid is doing it. Instinct going for the recover, and Instinct stays on beat! Columbus, Ohio, put your hands together for Instinct and Roy Roy saving their unbeaten streak. As we bring up the stats here, it looks like that game was all about Roy. 25 kills, only 16 deaths, positive 9. The only player on Instinct to go positive. On the other side, Tzoxic showing that he is really here to play 26 kills out of him with a positive 11. Columbus, Ohio, put your hands together after game one. Instinct leads 1-0 over Dynasty. We'll be back with game number two. Team Slayer on Zealot after this.